Hi, thanks for joining us. Uh, this week I wanted to highlight two big developments in public transportation for our neighborhood. The first one being the streetcar moving forward. The Milwaukee Common Council voted on Tuesday 10 to 5 to advance a study to push the streetcar in Milwaukee. This will connect the intermodal station to the east side of Milwaukee. This is something that's huge. Um, most major developed cities have a streetcar, have a rail line in their central city. And what this does is it attracts quality businesses, it attracts quality jobs, and it uh, impacts the development of people moving to that area. So this is something that's going to be big for Milwaukee. Public transportation in general is key to getting people to work, getting them to school, getting them around town. Um, and it shows advancement in transportation. So I salute the Milwaukee Common Council in moving forward on this important initiative. Unfortunately, we also took two steps back this week on Monday with the last meeting of the KRM uh, planning group. Uh, this was language that was inserted in the Republican budget that passed earlier this year, along with a 10% reduction in public transportation funding statewide. Now, KRM would have been a commuter rail line that connects Milwaukee with Racine and Kenosha and to the Metro, which connects to Chicago. This is something that was needed to build more of a regional uh, approach to attracting businesses, making sure we're all connected. Unfortunately, with this dying on Monday, we take two steps back as a region moving forward. Um, so we'll continue to revisit this and see what we can to try and get uh, more regionalism to this area, but it's a huge step back. Um, so those are two big developments. Uh, we'll talk about that and more in this week's newsletter, which you can find at SenatorLarson.com. Thanks so much.